Hey, how are you guys doing? Hot water. You guys doing good? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'll just I'll just tell you guys something that I'm at that stage of my life where the bar for self pride is very low. <laughs> yeah. What you relate very hard, sir. What what's happening? What? It's like yeah. Yeah, I'm at that stage, you know, like, I'll tell you, like, my greatest achievement in the last four years has been not contracting COVID. <laughs> that was, like, my greatest achievement. My biggest failure in the last four years, not contracting COVID. <laughs> to pass on to my uncle. <laughs> yeah. He's a piece of shit, I'll explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's a doctor and... More importantly, he's an Indian doctor based in London, okay? So he just, he walks around with a lot of ego in his eyes, you know, and everything, you know? And he just doesn't leave a chance to rub it in our faces that, you know, he made it and we did not, okay? <laughs> yeah, so back home in India, back home in India, uh, we were just, uh, when, he, uh, when he was at our house, we were just sitting there in the living room, watching the television, and the remote stopped working. So I did the most natural thing. I started rubbing the batteries. <laughs> Hitting the remote, and he turned out like he turned to me and with a lot of sarcasm, he said, "Hargun, why don't you change the batteries? Why don't you change this your surname? First of all, I don't fancy this in the association. <laughs> really, I've I've read my grandfather's will. You are not included. <laughs> no, I didn't tell him that. <laughs> no. Although I want to be there when he finds out." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, the thing is that you know he 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 was taunting me, but the bad thing is that, that two weeks later I found him doing the exact same thing, that you know something stopped working and he kept hitting it to make it work. So I held his hands, you know, and he's like, "You hypocrite," and then he told me, "Hargun, the man's dying. He needs a CPR." <laughs> Whatever, it's the same thing, you hypocrite. <laughs> the only difference between me hitting the remote and my uncle giving CPR was that my remote actually started working after that. <laughs> my uncle stinks, man, I'm telling you. So who won in the end? Who won? My batteries or that man's arteries? <laughs> the winner was clear. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even trust him, man. Like, I was, a ha I was having a headache when he was over, and then he told me, you know, get these scans done. And then he saw me walking off to another doctor, and he's like, Hargun, that's a very responsible thing to do. You know, you should get second opinions. I said, I'm going for my first opinion. <laughs> you think too highly of yourself. <laughs> but I see him, you know, hitting the remote a lot lately. I see him hitting the remote a lot lately. I told him, uncle, I changed the batteries. You don't have to do that. He's like, I know, Hargun. I'm just practicing CPR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come from India, and uh, we have Uber over there. We have cars, OK? Yeah. <laughs> we have Ubers over there. Like, we have the normal Ubers over there. But we also have Uber Moto over there, which is like a bike taxi. So it's a cheaper version of a cab, OK? But the thing is, I'm telling you, you go over there, you have bike taxis over there. But the, but the drivers, they don't treat you as customers, no. Not one bit. <laughs> they treat you as parts of their bikes, <laughs> which do not work. Like, I was in one of the Rapido trips, like, I was on a bike taxi, and then we had to take a right turn. We took a right turn, met with an accident. He started scolding me. Why didn't you show your right hand as your indicator? <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to do that, you know? Yeah, it's like, you know, you're paying all the money for the bike. There's no indicator on the bike. You're paying all the money. The bike is not well equipped. You know, it's like you taking a flight and the plane is not up to standards. <laughs> like there are no oxygen masks on the plane. So in case of low cabin pressure, everyone's just giving mouth to mouth to each other. <laughs> During turbulence, <laughs> which is not the best idea. 
One guy, I'm telling you, one guy took it to the next level. We were on one of the Rapido trips and, you know, he was like, sir, I have a request to make to you. He was like, don't worry, I'll give you five stars after the trip. He was like, no, sir, I don't want you to, I know you're getting late. I don't want you to get hurt. And my hand, I'm not able to reach there. Can you scratch my back a bit? <laughs> and I'm a nice guy and I was getting late. I didn't want him to start, stop. So I leaned in, but I made sure not to make eye contact. <laughs> Otherwise, that guy would be thinking, this guy is having fun out there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that was a strange thought. Anyways, that's been my time, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have been lovely. Hog on Sing, everyone!